Okay, we continue our lesson with force 2.6. Okay, we already learned about momentum. Now we go to force. Okay, first thing, what is force? Okay, so in simple word, force is a pull or uh, push that makes changes. So if you push or you pull something and it change the state of motion or shape or size or dimension means there is a force okay so we have a stationary object then you push or you pull so it will move or you have a moving object then you pull it means you exit a force so it will stop or you have a something let's say then you pull or you push again so it becomes smaller or bigger okay so means there is changes in shape or size or motion so that is force we have types of forces okay let's say we have frictional force we have normal force then we have gravitational force and also weight okay that one we're going to learn further in Hong Kong so for the introduction you just have to know what is force okay now everyone please refer to your textbook activity 2.13 Page 64. Okay, so that's good. Okay, there are two activities that you should do to prove what is false. Okay, so please refer to that page, read that part. Okay, so in activity 2.13, page 64, your textbooks. So we are going to conduct an experiment to investigate acceleration and force and also mass and acceleration Okay, from the result, the observation So we can plot the graph of A against F of this one And then we have A against 1 over mass So we are going to get a straight line graph So from this graph what can we use? What can we analyze from the graph? Okay, so from the graph you can see from here. Okay, so you can say that A is directly proportional to F. Acceleration is directly proportional to the force. Okay, so it means the more force exerted to the object, so the object accelerates more. Okay, for this one, you can see 1 over m means acceleration inversely proportional to the mass. So when you have higher mass, the object accelerates slower. Okay, inversely proportional. Okay, what can we conclude from these two graphs? Okay, now we do the conclusion. So we can say that force okay, depends on the mass and also Okay, from here, we learned in earlier chapter, earlier subtopic, A equal to B minus U over T. So you can rewrite M B over U over T. So now let me expand the equation. So M B minus M U over T. So from here, what can we say? We can conclude that force is the rate of change of momentum so we learned previously momentum v equal to mv so momentum final minus momentum initial divided by time so becomes rate of change of momentum so let me rewrite again so from force f equal to mv so a is B minus U over T okay. Changes of velocity over time okay, So we expand the equation So MV is initial momentum So 
sorry, final mo momentum minus initial momentum means you do have changes. So divide by time. So you can say that force is rate of change of momentum. Okay, so this is known as Newton's second law of motion. We have three laws of Newton's laws of motion, which we're going to learn that later. So for this part, 2.6, you just have to know the idea of how to get force, what is force, what makes it change, what makes it move. So all the types of forces, you're going to learn that in form 5. Okay, thank you.